We want to welcome you and thank you for coming. This is a very special evening. We have uh, some wonderful see, uh, testimonies and information for you. This is the most remarkable science breakthrough of my lifetime. And um, I'm Marion Palmer. <laughs> I've been uh, with ASEA for nine years, and it has changed my family's life. Um, have more energy, sleep better. I feel like I'm 10 years younger. I can still mountain climb and uh, backpack and do the things that I love. I was out gardening this afternoon, and it's just wonderful to know I can be tired, but then uh, with ASEA, the next day I'm up and ready to go again. So with no further ado, I would like to, um, let's see, are we going to have the, uh, our guest first, or are we going to have a video first, um, Gloria? Well, um, since Darlene's running a little late, how about we go ahead and um, switch it up? Let me just switch it up real quick here, and that'll give us a little bit of a time in between. So great question. So you get to hand it off to me then. All um, right. I am Gloria Lidebecker, and I'm so pleased to see you here today. Let me go ahead and share my screen here with you. And I will oh, have to put in a password. Here we go. And I invite you to take a moment and to watch this just under seven minute video with me to learn more about this new technology that's changing the face of health and athletics on a global level. I grew up in Salt Lake City, Utah. I took a degree from the University of Utah, uh, managed some stores for Safeway and then ended up going to work for General Foods Corporation. I was asked to sit on the board of a small company that had been working on a technology for about 15 years. Numerous patents, a lot of research, and they were actually producing a product using salt and water. And when they told me that, uh, they wanted me to go on their board. I said, well, you're gonna have to convince me that this is real. How can you produce something from salt and water? And they said, we have a lot of research, extensive research, 10 or $15 million worth of research. Virtus agreed to join the board of directors. So I went to the first board meeting and found out that they were flat out of money. They were a million dollars in debt. We said, let's see if we can help them find money. We tried for about 90 days, could not. Eventually the company uh, folded and they actually merged it with another company, an energy company. And when that happened, that company started selling off assets. And I said, I am going to put a group of investors together and I'm going to take a run at the company. And over the course of a year, we discovered what the product was and why it worked. We developed what's called the mechanism of action. They discovered the product was based on redox biochemistry, a new field of science that emerged near the beginning of the 21st century. Redox signaling is a function central to all forms of life. Redox signaling molecules are created within every cell of the body and are vital to the immune system and to cellular repair and replace mechanisms. As one gets older, the body's ability to make these molecules decreases, a function of aging. The product provided a replenishing source of the exact redox signaling molecules the body creates and in the same balance, enhancing cellular health. Knowing the product shelf life was essential, Virtus challenged a team of researchers, including Dr. Gary Samuelson, to find a way to stabilize the product. And finally, after months, he finally came in and said, I think I've got the product stabilized. And we started testing it and found out that he had, in fact, stabilized the product. After stabilization had been achieved, Virtus met with a group of university scientists. This is stabilized redox signaling molecules, both positive and negative molecules in the same bottle, stabilized. And they said, how in the world did you do this? So one of the big breakthroughs is the fact that we can stabilize molecules that are, you're not supposed to be able to do that. The molecules in the sea are supposed to be fleeting. They should all return to salt and water in just a matter of minutes, and they don't. 
So we decided to find 40 people and create kind of a focus group, and uh, we started giving it to them. Uh, we, we did that for about two months, and we said, let's go out and find out where we are with these 40 people. So when we went out and contacted them, we found out that the 40 people had turned into 135, and the product had been shipped to 20 different countries. But in the meantime, we had contacted a, a friend, and he was running a very big pharmaceutical company in New Jersey, about $10, $11 billion. And he finally agreed to send a group of people out and spend some time with us and see what we had come up with. So four people flew out on a plane. We spit out all of the research that we had out on the table. They started getting on the phone about noon back east, and they kept doing that. And about 2 o'clock, they walked in the room and said, uh, OK, we're convinced you've got something here. And it's significant enough that we will write you a check big enough that you won't want to talk to anybody else. And I said, what's the catch? And they said, you've got to shut it down. And I said, shut what down? And they said, you've got 135 people on this product right now. Shut it down. People uh, have problems all the time, and they deal with them as best they can. You're going to have to walk away. And that kind of took us back a little bit. In fact, I said, I, that seems a little harsh to me. And they said, you want to work with us, you walk away. ASEA LLC opened its doors for business in July 2009 with just a handful of independent associates. Today there are tens of thousands and their ranks are growing exponentially every month. In 2012, the company announced its entry into Europe, the first of many international steps to come. My wife questions why I'm doing this. She said you've retired more than once and it's time for you to join me and let's enjoy the golden years, if you will. But recently, a young lady came up and she broke down and started sobbing. And she had a health challenge in her family that was really severe. And uh, she was introduced to ASEA. And because of what ASEA did, uh, she was just grateful. So I find it hard to talk about, but that's a reason. Oh, I'll turn it over to Darlene now. Hi, thanks, Gloria, and uh, gosh, welcome, everybody. We're so excited to have Leah Rasmussen with us tonight and um, can't wait to hear uh, her story. A little bit about Leah. Uh, she's been married to her best friend, Wayne, for 33 years. Congratulations. They just celebrated their anniversary yesterday. They have five children, one son, and four daughters. Uh, she graduated from BYU in 91, where she studied business. She has worked in the health and fitness industry for 25 years and has enjoyed volunteering in the Cub Scouts PTA and as a children's soccer coach. She's very involved in her church, where she has served in the children and youth programs for 29 years. Leah enjoys hiking, skiing, running, yoga, and had just hanging out with her family. And she became a grandma in 2020, which is, as we all know, the best gift ever. She has five passions, faith, family, friends, fun, and ASEA. Welcome, Leah. We're excited to hear from you. Let me get myself unmuted. Oh, I am so grateful for the opportunity, you guys. There, there are few things. Well, of course, my grandbaby. I love that better. But I really, really, really love talking about ASEA and sharing my ASEA story. And I hope that it will be able to help somebody, somebody somewhere that will think, oh, my gosh, I wonder if that would help me with that same thing. So let me begin by just telling a little bit about where I was before ASEA. I've been drinking ASEA two ounces twice a day for nine years, almost, almost 100% consistency with that. There are a few times that I traveled and didn't drink, it was not able because I didn't bring a checked bag and was gone for more than I could take like three days worth and stayed a week and I felt it. I knew 
there was no question. I did that three times and there was no question that ASEA is the game changer for me. And so before ASEA, I, I began having joint pain as early as 17 years old. And, uh, <coughs> excuse me, got a little tickle today. Um, I, and when I brought that up to my mom, I'm like, mom, my hands hurt, my fingers hurt. And, and, you know, one day it would be in my toes and then, you know, several months down the road and that would last for a little while. And then several months down the road, it would go to my, um, toes or something. And it just, those little episodes became more and more frequent as I aged. And then when I got into my thirties, that's when it really started getting bad. I was, I found it difficult to sit for long periods of time. Like sitting through church was difficult because my hips would hurt so bad and, or driving to the next city to go to dinner in Salt Lake city you know, a 45 minute drive would be tough to do. And so it was, it wasn't fun, you know, even in my thirties. And I was introduced to ASEA when I was 45 years old. And, um, I really wouldn't listen because I have a lot of inflammation, joint related pain. My gene pool is swimming. My, with, inflammation joint stuff going on. And so my grandfather had it on my mom's side. My grandmother had it on my father's side. My mom had it. I was just destined to have this issue. And I didn't think there was anything out there that would stop that from happening. And so I kind of ignored my very close, close friend from high school uh, when she talked to me about it and it took what I like to think is some divine intervention, which was a wipeout <laughs> up on the slopes of the ski mountains in Utah. And at that point, my friend showed me a video, which is the power of just so showing a video. Um, and she said, Leah, if you want to be able to, I ended up needing need surgery. And she says, if you want to ski like you did before, you deserve to be on this product. And so I broke down and I didn't think it was going to work. So I was a huge skeptic, but, um, <coughs> um, I tried it and I found some pretty ridiculous results in the very beginning with the, from the very first time of spraying it. She gave me a little spray bottle with some ASEA in it. And from the very first few minutes, I felt a difference in that pounding throbbing after the surgery. It really helped with that. And then um, I just, I decided I was going to stay on it. And nine months later, my, the joint paint that I had had for 28 years went away. And so that was super powerful. And at that point, I told my mom about it. And I was just like, what else is this going to do to my body? It's just amazing. And so at that point, I started sharing it. And um, I, anytime I would see, I felt an obligation, you know, not just, I wasn't really interested in doing it as a business. But anytime I saw somebody that was hurting, I would try and be super brave, even if it wasn't somebody that I knew really, really well. And I would just say, hey, this might be able to help you, you know. And so that, of course, led to me getting my product paid for. And so that was nice. And uh, then one thing I learned along the way is that more is better. So I was having heel pain back in, let's see, it was 2018. My friend says, uh, you want to do a half marathon with me? And I'm like, Oh my gosh, not really. But she's like, she's 10 years younger than me. And we, Oh, side back up. I couldn't run for anything more than a mile when, before I see it, my joints hurt. I couldn't do yoga. My, it was too hard on my wrists. Um, 
I actually had to uh, have my wedding ring size sized up and then have that they call it an arthritic bar put in because my knuckle was so big and now my look my knuckles look totally normal so isn't that cool isn't that just cool anyway so okay where was i now i'm getting i sidetracked myself sorry guys um oh the marathon so so i said oh okay i'll do it you know she says i want to do it before i'm 40 and i was about to turn 50 and, and, uh, we decided to do it. And every time we do a long run, oh, my, my, that foot, I'd have to ice it. I talked to Jerry white. He was giving me all these exercises and stuff to do to help with that. I was spraying the bottom of my foot with it, with the ASEA or rubbing renew on it. And it was just hurting after each run. But then the day of the marathon, you know, I'd heard what the Olympic athletes do. They drink all this extra Sia, you know? And so I drank, I drank some of my two ounces before I left home to meet at the meetup place. And then I drank two ounces, two to four ounces right before the race started. And then halfway through, my husband was standing there with a bottle of a Sia and he handed it to me and to my running buddy and we're jogging along and I'm chugging my I don't know how much I had, probably at least six or eight ounces of ASEA. And you guys, I'm here to tell you, I was tired when I got home, but the next day, not a single part of my body hurt anywhere. Nothing hurt. That was unheard of for our practice, you know, 10 miler runs. And that, that, 13 and 13 point, whatever, two miles, a half marathon is. I had never run that far in my life. And it was just amazing to wake up the next morning and not have uh, an ounce of pain and to step down on my feet and not have that heel pain. That was just awesome. So guys, I just, I just love this product and I could go on and on and on about all the things Doctors told me I, in order to get rid of my, he, my shoulder pain, I was going to need surgery and I was going to need surgery on my foot for this, this fluid field thing that kept, wouldn't go away for two years. And just what I have learned is that when you have an issue, lots of ASEA on the inside and renew on the outside can be an absolute miracle for you. And so I just absolutely love it. And I think everybody on the planet deserves to know about ASEA. I love it so much. And, you know, we tell people about stuff all the time. We recommend great movies or a great new cafe or, or a good book all the time. But with ASEA, when you recommend something they actually pay you to do that so i think that's really cool and so anyway that's a small part of my story and thank you so much for letting me have the opportunity to share it thanks so much leah does anybody have any questions for her well i would just say i've seen leah's pictures on different zoom meetings and when she said she was a grandma, I kind of sat back and said, really? <laughs> and then when she says, what, you're 50? I, I would have said 20 years younger anyway. Well, I'm, I just turned 54. So wow. I feel I'm 54 and I feel better than I did in my 30s. Like on a birthday party for my now 22-year-old daughter, I remember my mother-in-law watching you know all the old people were sitting on the couches and so us younger generation were sitting on the floor and sitting there helping my little daughter open her presents and and um I remember my mother-in-law saying to me as she watched me get up and I looked like this 90 year old woman trying to get up off the floor and she's she says oh honey oh honey I'm so sorry and I'm like it's okay. I'll get going here in a minute, you know, and to be like that 22 years ago, 
to to just hiking a 50 mile trek to Machu Picchu in Peru and just getting to ski and run and yoga and all these fun things that I can do now. It's just awesome. Yeah, that's very inspirational. It really is. But I'm really appreciating hearing, Leah, is how over time you're really noticing more and more benefits. Yes, absolutely. It just gets better. It just gets better and better the longer you're on it. Thank you. I'm so grateful that you're willing to come today and share a little bit of your story. We'll need to have you come back to share other stories again another time. So... I'm going to hand this over to um, Doug. I'm going to share my screen again real quick. Maybe. Let me see if I've got things where I need to have them. I do not. Hold on. I'm going to stop my share. I don't know how my screen disappears, but it does disappear on me from time to time. <laughs> um, so here we go. And I'll turn it over to Doug. Well, thank you, Gloria. It is my honor and privilege to have the opportunity to introduce Jerry White to the group. If you don't know Jerry already, he has an extensive clinical background as a physical therapist, as well as a background in research. He founded the Gate Orthopedic and Neuro Neurological Lab at Shriners Hospital and was an adjunct professor at the biomechanics and physiology at EWU uh, Physical Therapy School. Jerry's personal vision and passion make his partnership with the SIA very powerful. Jerry also serves on the ASEA Medical Board. And again, it is my honor and privilege to introduce you to Mr. Jerry White. Thanks, Doug. We're going to have to go fishing or something. Sounds like a good deal. Well, where, where do you live? Walla Walla. Yeah. I Just down the road from you. Go down there and catch a sturgeon. My granddad used to fish for sturgeon back in the early days. You know, it was only 30 years after the place was discovered. And they'd take a railroad spike and bend it over and stick a piece of meat on it or something. And then they would tie a clothesline to a telephone pole. And then that's how they would, would catch them. So um, those are big old fish. Well, welcome, everybody. I wanted to touch on a couple of things that we don't often uh, get a chance to talk about. Um, it's about looking at the bigger picture of what ASEA can bring. I just love the enthusiasm that Leah brings. Uh, between Leah and Shelly, I'm going to infuse them into a lot of little groups around the country because they all need that kind of energy. And uh, it's good to have them to be a part of what we're doing here. Um, my um, experience with this started with a friend of ours who I had worked with in this kind of an industry before, but she left when her daughter got a, a life-threatening illness at age 12. A few years back, or later, she called me up and they were sitting in a conference room in, in Salt Lake City. And, and she was sitting there with a, another housewife from Boise. Neither one of them had actually gone to college, but they were very prolific at getting the word out on new technologies. So they were invited to come down to see this company and they were asking me, okay, you know science, is this even remotely possible? They're telling stuff here, I'm not even sure to, <laughs> they couldn't even open a can to try to figure it out. So they asked me to go down and fly down, talk to the nuclear physicist who put it, nuclear medical physicist who put it, it stabilized it to the point where we could get it to the people. And what I can guarantee you is uh, if you want to sit down sometime and let me bend your ear a bit, you might want to have a pillow or something because it gets, it gets long, it gets crazy. But this was an answer to some things that were absolutely bugging me about how the body healed so immensely well as a little kid. And then you started getting slower and slower and slower. And finally, we tip over and we're, we're gone to Jesus at the end. Just as an example, as a reminder, does anybody know how long you need to wear a cast when you have a broken bone as an adult? Uh, go ahead and six, unmute. Six to eight weeks. 
see Doug, you're an experienced bone breaker <laughs> or you work in the field. Yeah, it's six to eight weeks. You know how long it takes my, it took my two-year-old grandson to heal his toe. Put him in a boot. And it two was three. Weeks. Yeah, two weeks. So what happens? What's going on here? We, we didn't know. We didn't know a lot of things about how the body ages. We didn't know a lot of things about the, how we react to uh, the environment around us. And most, one of the most pressing questions I always had was, why can we go from skin to scar? And if both are made from DNA that is in the cells and all of the cells in your body have the same DNA, why does a scar form and keep making scar over and over again past the time when the scar is needed? Why doesn't it read the DNA and go back to skin? It was just, it used to, you know, how stuff bugs you, you know, like my wife is like, why can't you undo your socks when you put them in the wash? Well, this is one of those things that I, I was just wondering about all the time. And it all comes down to redox signaling and it's answering uh, thousands of questions we didn't know how to answer before. And as the human body takes in these redox signaling molecules or any other cell by that, by the way, whether it's a single-celled organism, whether it's a plant or an animal or person, they all have to do a function of creating their own energy. This is a byproduct of creating that energy. If you didn't have that system, you would be dead in three and a half minutes and you would never have survived conception. So now what we're doing is just peeling back the onion and looking at what God created. Here's the fun part. Yeah, the science is amazing. And it will change our world as surely and probably as profoundly in the long run as computers have changed our world in the last 25 years. Blink your eyes if computers, do you believe computers have changed our world? Are they done changing the world? Are they done with the economics? Are they done with the creativity? No, probably not. And um, just put this one in the bank. They operate on a language called a binary language, which means one and zero. So all of what computers do are based on a one and a zero to make a language that it talks to all the other computers and the internet and the whole deal. We've now found that these secret molecules that we're able to stabilize create eight different binary languages. So just in one part of your cell, those eight languages, each one as big as the computerization binary, actually talk to each other as well. And when you can allow the cells to re-engage with that language, there's nothing we can't do. So what we see is the body begins to start to remember, remember how it used to do things like building the body in the first place imagine we live in a world i just want to bring this up for you we live in a world where you're exposed to more toxicity in 15 minutes than your grand great grandparents did in a lifetime so in 15 minutes you have more exposure to toxicity and environmental difficulties than they had in an entire lifetime and you have to adapt and it, and your cells have to adapt we now have the ability for those cells to adapt in a way that is magnificently faster and better controlled. So with that, they ask us to take it to the world. And um, I'm here to say that we're having a ball, realizing that when there was a brand new um, technology, a brand new area, you're, and you're five, five yards ahead of somebody else that's never heard of it yet, you're the expert. When I was a kid, I wanted to learn to fly. And I thought, well, I don't want to go pay all that money to be in an airplane and do all that stuff. And I, and I was reading stories about when airplanes first came out and somebody would fly into your field and they'd set you in the back seat, teach you how to fly an airplane, then try to sell you one. Now they have all these lengthy schools to try to figure out how to do it. Well, we're in that sort of that pioneer time where we can just share with other people because we've got experiences five minutes ahead. And those experiences can go rampant. I just came from, uh, oh, um, for many of you, the 
introduction of ASEA concepts and redox signaling as a product started with its greatest distribution point in the world was Spokane, Washington. In fact, after a couple of years of being open, there were more diamond level, what we call distributors in this business in Spokane than there were in any country in the world. Um, in Spokane. So why ain't that weird? And it happened to have a great deal to do with what this team had begun to do. And you are one of the newest branch offshoots from that through, through Marion's magical acquaintance to Gloria Liebecker. It just within the last six months, this has begun to grow again in this area. I just got back from a place where it's virtually never been. The south side of Chicago and down into Indianapolis. And here's what happened. One day on this trek, I'm talking now Friday morning till Saturday noon, or till Saturday at four. We met with a family who'd been uh, in the pastorate for 40 years. Uh, about the same amount of, well, maybe 45 years because the pastor himself had um, an intractable, irreversible condition. They said we'd no, not live past five years. He had a very difficult time standing up, kind of shaky, but he hit it so well. The deal was though that he was now in bed 22 hours on Sunday, was up for two and couldn't take it anymore. He had to go back to bed. He had so much what we call intractable pain. Um, anybody know what that is? It's kind of, he can't fix it and it's hopeless. For 40 years, it was in his quads, down, up and down his thighs and in his hips and in his knees. Um, and that particular condition almost never has that kind of discomfort. So we just did a couple of tests and, and uh, said, you know, they've tried everything else. Why don't we just give this a shot and see what happens? I tested his reflexes and they were grossly overreactive. I just tested his balance a little bit. So I said, I want you to apply this, do two things. I want you to take a shot of it and I want you to apply it to your quads. So we did. The family was kind of interested in the stories we were telling and some of the pictures we were showing. And so he and his wife were, she got on the telephone and she was texting to the people that they were going to meet in 15 minutes, but would absolutely be late. Texting that, sorry, but we got involved with something that's really important for my husband's health and uh, we're going to be late. When he came back out and I did another test on him, he had no Im imbalance. He had no hyperreflexia. I mean, his reflexes would just explode. It was like a startle reflex. Everything that happened. His discomfort in his legs had gone from nine to two. And I, and I watched him sit down and stand back up without having to use his hands on the table or his legs or his knees. The tears were running down his face. He turned to his wife and he looked and saw that she was texting and he said, stop. This is the most important moment in 40 years. And I want you to be with me with this. I went through a series of a couple of other tests and they wept together and we all wept in the room. And it started a cascade that by the next afternoon, we had 52 people in a room. We had a guy in there that was another one that just fell into a pit at um, Jiffy Lube on his head at 72 years old. Memory was a mess, all kinds of trouble getting over it. Phenomenal experience while standing there. The lady got up and told the story about her past, her husband. A few other stories were told of conditions that just don't get better. 
it is right now poised to explode across this great land because people are finally coming back together. So I'm going to give you a few options to be a part of what we do. And um, really, they're pretty simple. Number one, some people just say, I really, really, really want to hear some stories and I want to look at it. So we'll send you a website. You can do that. Number two, get me some. Got to use it. Here's my recommendation. Get enough to make a difference. We know that in the first week, 17% of the people will have an effect. They'll say, that's irrefutable. That's a big deal. And this is if they know nothing about it and all they're doing is drinking it. By a month, about 50%. Two months, 75%. Probably 95% by three months. So consider getting enough to make a difference. It comes in gallon, or um, it comes in quarts. And so four quarts makes a gallon. A gallon is a, um, is a case. And so we can work on that based on a family's needs. Somebody who's uh, over the age of 60 or maybe uh, thereabouts would probably need two cases in a month. The rest of people, maybe one. If it doesn't work for you in the first few weeks, then we would double it. The nice thing about the company is that they'll give you a money back guarantee that if you don't see what you think you should see um, or what you were hoping to see, you just call up a number and tell them you want your money back on two of those cases and they'll, uh, they won't even ask you to send anything back, empty, full, or anything because we believe in what we're doing and we want to give everybody a best shot. There's some amazing stories with the people here and that, that'd be the best part of all of this. But some people want to get this paid for by referring other people. And I just really have to take my hat off to Elaine who has been really, really caring enough to bring it up with some friends and family. And, and she's now got some other people that are helping to try to get her to get that job done. That grows over time. And as it grows, for some people, you might want to be able to say, I got my, look at, in, in Leah's story today, she was, she was telling of a, a change in her life, a change when she knew she could make much more difference doing this than she could do pretty much anything else in this category. You may want that change, and some of you may want to just take this stuff for a good long time. If you buy worldwide distribution rights, you can buy them in 32 different countries for $40. So a lot of people choose to do that. There's a lot of advantages to doing it. We work together as a team. We share a lot of things. And then you can get a discount on the this, this stuff that you're using, the liquid that we drink, the gel that we put on, the nutrients that we use to cover all of these pieces. Or you could be a part of what we really see and, and what... What I've been so impressed with, with, with the combination of Marion and Gloria, when they got together, they didn't see just a little thing. Gloria, how big do you think this will get in five years? Just based from the, from the two of you, when you started a couple of months ago in a room somewhere, how big do you think it'll get? Just a guess. Well, it's hard to describe how big I think it's going to get, but we're going to really just have a really nice big team that we can really reach a far, far distribution that we need to. But um, this team is already on fire and they've, they've just passionate about helping people. And so there's no holding them back. They've got a song to share with the world. Well, you, she's probably even affected those, uh, the wild horse monument at, at Vantage <laughs> there. That, uh, <laughs> Because we've got all the locals that surround that part of the, the world, and we're moving out from there. So we'd like to invite you to be a part of that. Those of you who see the bigger vision, um, you'll, you will be doing things too. This morning, I was on the phone with my group in Fiji, um, and that group had just started with a group of Tongans. Now, imagine when I have to go over there and see them, plus my team in New Zealand. Well, I go in there and tell a few stories. They say, oh, don't get a hotel. Maybe you ought to just stay in our, in our place over the ocean. Yeah, come out for a few days. And then I go from there to Adelaide in Australia. And they tell me, oh, come out here and we'll show you what the spiders really look like. <laughs> in different places all over the world. Uh, so 
uh, we've got people in 27 different com company or countries. And so what I see is huge. We've been able to do it before. And when we take a group of human beings that have a heart and put them together and give them a little bit of structure, it's untold what you all will see in the next five years. Where I see this group in five years is tens of thousands in at least a dozen countries. And somebody has to go to those countries. So I want you to all put in the back of the seat of your mind that together you can accomplish things that will start to reverse this trend, trend and tendency that people have to look at screens, get all of their communication from sc screens that mark what you look at and give you more of the same so your mind gets smaller and smaller and smaller. So I think I like this group so much because you're going to avoid what Zig Ziglar used to say about some people who only listen to one side of the story. He said, some people are so narrow-minded they can look through a keyhole with both eyes at the same time. <laughs> so if you can avoid that and we can spread that, we'll all find out what God meant when he made us for fellowship. It's astounding. So congratulations, to, especially to Elaine, who made it to that next rank. And for those of you who want to join us, we gather together as a team. And uh, so we'll close this part down for now, unless you have some questions. And uh, then I think, Gloria, you have a couple of trainings that are coming up. Is that right? We do. <clears throat> I got my slide deck up again, so I will go ahead and share. I'd love to have people join us this next um, this next day on Wednesday, the 30th at 3.30, we're going to be looking at redox versus environmental impact with our guest speaker, Vicki Laraway. I'm really looking forward to her presentation with us. And she so, comes from Bismarck, North Dakota, where there's more pheasants than people. But <laughs> even in that small place, um, they're, they're ex beginning to do just exactly what you're doing here is to reach out. And I know that some of you come from small towns. You know what's good about small town people? They trust each other. Yep. Small town people um, care for each other. And I put one, I put my dog on stake in the ground and say, let's turn around and teach some of them big city folks how to trust each other and care for each other as well. So back to you, ladies. Thanks for having us here tonight. And uh, welcome to the Salt Lake, well, the Ogden, Utah team that's with us too. And, and, and on, we also have Alaska down there. You see, Dave, he's looking at you because the sun's in his eyes. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Jerry, I have a question, if that's all right. Go. Um, you know, when you were talking about the pastor that had hyper hyperreflexia. Yep. I was wondering how much was he drinking did that get those kind of results? I think it's so interesting and I feel so guided to share this all the time. And I'm not even kidding on my text thread, just a, just what an hour ago, Shelly, uh, we were discussing how this friend that has that condition is doing and has had it for decades and well if you do the you one test this, if you do you the one test this i would virtually i'll guarantee you a pizza that <laughs> if you do that test on the reflexes with somebody with that condition and for those of you who are wondering what the heck is that condition their doctor says they have a problem with the myelin around the nerves in their central nervous system if you know what i'm talking about Great. If not, um, we're not allowed to tell you. But what you want, what what it took was one ounce of a CS swished around uh, the uh, Renew Twenty Eight on the quads and on the front of the neck, the size of a pea, three times in five minutes, and it took five minutes to have that effect. Renew on quads, neck, front and back of the neck. Just the front. And the reason we put it on his quads because I wanted him to put it on some place that he thought that he wanted to get rid of the most. The secret is when it touches your skin, it, it, you can miss by a good long ways geographically and you'll st still see an amazing effect. 
instantly with that condition. So there are things coming. And there are things coming at the convention coming up uh, in the middle of next month that are near the end of the next month um, that are some, some technologies that we're adding to this that have been tuned to work with it. Things on energy and uh, changing your mood when you're wound up tighter than a seven day clock and bouncing around like you can't stand it and shaking and doing all that sort of stuff. And, and so, you know, I get to this point, sometimes there's so many things to do. I can't, I, I can't do anything. I just kind of get freaked out. Imagine being able to drink something that would just settle that down and give you right into the mode for the redox signaling. It's, it's amazing. We've been trying it. Another one is uh, for memory. If you've got something to present and there's too many areas to cover, I tend to get a uh, million of them and try to shove four pounds of mud in a two pound sack and it never fits but it focuses it, pulls it down in. It's really been remarkable. And the other one is, is an, an, an entirely new look at how you can gain the energy and stay, a, stay a alert and awake doing what you're doing by tuning your nervous systems, the ones in your cells and the ones in, in, in your body, to an effect that allows you to be in absolute control. It's almost like you have this massive increase in, in potential, but this fingertip control that goes along with it. It's just, it's, it's truly amazing without driving you over the edge. And all that stuff's coming out. And, and, and because we're now able to do those things, people will join you for how they feel, not for what you said. And we've got four three new ways coming out that will give them a sense to feel within a very short period of time hold on to your hats ladies and gentlemen and it's with something they don't have to be described now, and, and that stuff works but it works way better when your redox is in that narrow range where it's supposed to be we're now branching out and putting things into synergistic categories so that one plus one equals five. It's really, really amazing. Don't miss it. Get to that convention. It's going to be a blast. Uh, the party's, party's in Gloria's room. It, it's, it's going to be good. Yeah. Can't wait. Yeah, it'll be good. <laughs> and then an upcoming, for those of you who want to uh, ascribe to this next year, Gloria, you're going to be heading down to, uh, was it Cozumel or Cancun or something like that? On the company, yeah, on the company's dime, because they go, there's the girl of the future right there. Just anybody can do it. It's, it's, it's incredible. So, well, we've almost used up an entire 52 minutes. So anyone else have a question? That was a good question. Leah, you're, you're the best. No, wait, the others are the best. No, wait, don't tell anybody. I don't want anybody to feel like I got the left out. Gary, you're the best. Thanks for being here and for sharing stories with us today. Yeah, you're a keeper. And thank you everyone, Leah, Shelley, everyone for coming today. It's always a pleasure to have you here and we hope to see you again tomorrow. So for those of you who know the good book, I like to always finish with this. It says in Genesis, be fruitful and multiply. So go do that. Go get some more and bring them back. Let's make this thing so the screens are full for 20 screens across when we do these things. Bye for now. Good night.